tonight in a theme that rhymes. God, work with my mind. Get me prepared for what you have for me. There are many of you, you don't have things tonight that you should have. Therefore, we should already be possessing certain things tonight, but you don't have it. You don't have it. And the reason you don't have it is your mind. All it took for Joseph brothers to show who they really was was for his daddy to give him a nice coat. Y'all, y'all, y'all ain't hear me. I know, y'all, I know some of you want me to call a nice coat. Folk will start acting a fool because you got on nice shoes. Every time I preach, I kick my feet up, I do this, but then I kick them up with red bottoms on, and now you hate me. <laughs> Pastor showing out, so he's kicking his feet up because he got, I kick my feet up all a lot of times. But see, listen, I'm trying to call. They notice that coat. If God favors you, people go notice it. I'm going to close here. I ain't done, but I'm going to close. God, give me favor. You ready for it? God will give you favor on your job and folk try to get you fired. Folk get nosy on you. What they, what they pay you to do that? They paying me none of. None of what? None of your business. Come on, favor will cost you. Favor will cost you. You'll walk in rooms, and because favor is on you, folk will not like you. They haven't even talked to you, they haven't even met you. If God put favor on you, it matters how you fight. You so sure enough got to fight when God said, my favor is on your life. You got to fight like you know his favor on your life. Come on, somebody. Say Corinthians 2 and 14 and let's be done. Now, thanks be unto God. Thanks be unto who? God. Who always. Somebody shout always. always. Who what? Always. Who what? Always. He'll do it sometimes. He'll do it on Mondays. He'll do it on the weekends. He what? Notice what he always does. He always leads us into what? A victory. We always win because we always live by faith. We always live by faith because we always fight right fight the good fight of faith timothy sees eternal life and tell your neighbor eternal life does not start in heaven eternal life starts here on earth It so starts here on earth that even when we die, the Bible said because we have seized eternal life, even in natural death, we just sleep. I'm done. Give him a praise. I'm done. Woo! How we fight matters. Come on, you don't mind jump to your feet giving your God a praise? Come on, can we give him a bigger hand? He dropped a good word. How you fight. Don't let people determine who you will be. 
Don't let people determine what you will have. Don't let people determine how far you will go. Recognize that it matters how you fight. And if you will fight the good fight of faith, you will lay hold. You will seize eternal or abundant life. There's nowhere else to say it, but a person who is possessing abundant life, he or she will eventually, you got to start somewhere, but he or she will eventually be productive in every aspect of life. No way for you to fight the good fight of faith and not be productive. Did you hear me? In every aspect of life. But we all have to start somewhere. You may not start where somebody else started. But if you will fight the good fight of faith, if you will not beat the air, but fight the way you have been taught, fight according to the word, you will be productive in every aspect of life. People who really know you will watch you grow in the things of God. They'll watch you. Come on, somebody. I said, they'll just watch you. Continue going from one place to the next place. Just keep progressing. Just keep progressing. Never get to the point to where God lays something before you. But you don't want to fight in order to achieve it or to have it. You know, we say all the time, what God has for me, it is for me. Not if you don't understand that it matters how you fight. God will take from a person who doesn't want to fight. And what he had for them, he will give it to somebody who will fight the good fight of faith. That's what we're going to do. Amen. Amen. That's what refuge is all about. If God is leading you to this church, then you already know you're going to be challenged. Word going to step on your feet. Word going to kick you in your knees. Come on. May elbow you in the back of your head. But what that word is going to do is teach you how to fight the good fight of faith. Stuff going to happen in your house that ain't going to shake you. You're going to know, hey, I got to fight the good fight of faith. I'm being attacked over here. I'm being attacked over there. But if I fight the right way, God will do for me what I can't do for myself. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord, for the people who have gathered.